When I first approached video editing, I was at a complete loss facing a huge pile of materials. If you are feeling the same as I once was, you may want to keep watching the video. Because in today's tutorial, I will teach you 4 editing techniques which could improve your editing skills a whole lot better even for a beginner. Alright, without further ado, let's start the video. After coming back from a trip, you might want to use the materials you shot during the trip to make a travel vlog. So, you insert the SD card into the computer, and then directly import the footage you have to VideoProc. Actually, this is not the ideal way, because it might slow down the reading operation of the data, and even bring damage to the file. Instead, what we should do first is to back up the materials from your SD card to the computer. In this way, not only can the files be read faster, it also ensures your materials are backed up and further prevent data loss. If we drag the materials directly into the software to edit after importing the materials to the computer, the media library might look cluttered. And the fact is that we will not be able to use every single clip we import. Thus, we can do a simple screening of the video clips before importing. For example, to eliminate some poorly exposed footage, or some clips that will not be included in the edit. This way, our editing will be more efficient. In addition to selecting the clips, we can also rename the clips to increase the efficiency of our editing by means of the thing like Beach, Highway, or the content of the video clip to do a rename, or mark out the time where the content that we could use appear in some non-clips, so we won't waste too much time trying to locate them later. After going through these three steps, we have basically finished organizing the materials. And next, we import the footage into the software. Once we have imported the footage into the media library, click the buttons here to sort your files out. In addition, you can also rough cut the footage. Let's say we have a long clip in hand but there is only a small section we would use. If we drag the clip into the video track, the project will turn out pretty messy. We can actually pre-process the clips, like in this footage. I only need this part here in the middle. I can import it into video track or overlay track first. Use a split tool or ripple edit to extract the clip we want. Then, click on the plus sign to add an overlay track. Click here and adjust transparency to zero. Then, we drag the clip we just added into the track. The track will not affect our editing process. And we can come back for it later when needed. This technique can be used in all editing projects. But remember, before exporting the video, click the eye icon to remove the track. You may get a black screen in your final result. Alright, this is all for today's tutorial. And I believe these tips can help you edit your videos faster. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe our channel if you haven't yet. We will see you soon in our next tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.